friends and welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're back. Either way, thank you so so much for clicking on my video today. If you are new, hi, my name's Rabbit and my pronouns are they them and I am so freaking excited for today's video. A, hi, red contact lenses. I love it. I'm getting my whole money's worth out of these for the three months that they are still theoretically good. Despite the fact that my eyes are watering a little bit, I promise it's all good. This video's about my DIY trip pants that I made. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys. So this is going to be like a semi-tutorial or just kind of like a craft with me kind of video, but I'll show you guys all what I did. Obviously with these kind of DIYs, this is more to give you like an idea of what you might want to do with some pants of your own, not to be like, this is exactly how you have to do it and follow these steps precisely. Like, obviously not, no. Do what you can with what you have. These are mine and I'm really excited to show you um, how I made them, how they turned out, and do a little show off of the final product when we're at the end of the video and um, yes. If you are interested in seeing how I turned these from regular plaid pants into kind of like faux trip pants, then keep on watching. I'm super excited to show you. Okay, so we gotta start by remedying the evil of this pants, which is fake pockets. This is super, super annoying. You will know this if you buy like quote unquote women's clothes. This fake pocket bullshit. I do not stand for it, uh, but luckily it's pretty easy to fix. So how I start is get a piece of paper and then trace out a pattern by just kind of putting my hand flat on some paper and using a pencil to draw around it so my hand will be able to fit. Then cut out that pattern with scissors. I'm not bothering folding it in half to make it symmetrical because it's inside the pants. No one's going to see this. Then I'm taking the scrap fabric and since I want two pockets on each side, I'm folding it in four pieces. Ideally, you'd want to leave a seam allowance. I'm not really giving myself space for any, but it's fine. This is like stretchy fabric. Pin the fabric in place and go ahead and cut out your pieces. Um, if you only want one pocket, then just cut out two pieces of the pattern. But if you want two on each side or more, then cut out as many as you need just double because you know pockets have a front and a back then I can take apart all my little pattern pieces and pin them together good side to good side and then sew all around the edges so that they are shut if you want to use like fun fabric for your pockets that's super cool but I personally just like using old scraps I think this was a t-shirt at some point but obviously leave the hole in the top so your hand can fit in it and you're gonna want to unstitch the pants where the fake pocket is or create a new one if there's just no pockets if you're lazy like I usually am um, I just cut this open but for the sake of professionalism I figured I'd try to like use a seam ripper and tiny scissors to like professionally open the seams and then you're going to want to take that pocket and pin it inside the pants. I usually do it while like the pants are good side out and then I put the pocket in um, where it feels comfortable but make sure that you're pinning the pieces good side to good side so that when you turn it back inside out you get like that nice clean seam. Sorry the way that I was trying to film during this my camera was positioned really poorly but once it's pinned in this takes a little bit of experimenting, but just try on your pants and make sure that it's in a good position. You can go ahead and sew it all down. I'm just using my sewing machine. It makes the process a lot faster. And I'm using a zigzag stitch because this is really stretchy fabric that I decided to use. Next, these pants were really well fitting in the legs, but quite baggy in the waist. So I'm just folding over a little portion of the waist and just adding a little seam right down it. This is usually how I tighten pants um, that are too big for me. This is not professional, but it works. <laughs> then I'm adding some embroidery floss and like hand stitching that in because it was quite thick fabric and I wanted it to be extra secure. So we're just going ahead and doing that. I'll cover up the weird stitch with some cool fabric later. So don't worry about that. Now that the pockets are in and the pants fit me in a satisfactory way, it's time to accessorize and do like the fun part of the project. So this is like the cool creative part. What I like to do is pull out everything that I can possibly think of using. I just like go through my fabric stash look if I have any like scissors any like little metal pieces of hardware fabric that I'd like um, just kind of take everything you have lay everything out and spend some time experimenting figuring out what you would like um, this is just like super fun and if you want to just kind of wing it and do one piece at a time you can do that but I personally have fun with these projects like laying everything out beforehand and obviously we'll add to it as we go in the future this isn't what they'll always look like but for now I'm just kind of like mapping things out, trying some different things until I find what I like. All of my zippers are from the thrift stores. They're mostly between like 50 cents and a dollar. And the little bat patch um, used to be my boyfriend's mask that didn't fit him quite well. 
Once I'm satisfied with the placement of everything, at least for now, I'm pinning everything in place with some sewing pins. And then the things that I can fit in my sewing machine to sew down, I'm going ahead and sewing down. But this is mostly like stuff that's closer to the top of the pants with stuff that like goes all the way up and down the legs. It's a hand sewing kind of situation because I don't feel like unstitching the pants and reseaming it. But if you have a lot of items you'd like to add, that's maybe a more viable option to just unstitch the pants, sew everything on, and then stitch them back up. Just do whatever feels right for you. So the majority of like my main accessories and stuff are on. Now it's time to make a bunch of straps and buckles to add. So I have this fabric that I found at the thrift store. I think it was like a make a kilt yourself kind of kit for children, but I have not used it to make a kilt. I have used it to make a lot of weird little fabric patches. However, it's perfect for this project because I don't have to like draw any straight lines. I can just follow the lines of the kilt pattern to like figure out how long I want all of my little straps to be. So just keep in mind when making straps that you're going to want to double the length that you'll think you'll need and also add a little bit because if you turn them inside out, they get quite a lot thinner than um, one would suppose. Like they don't go quite in half, they go like three quarters or something like that. So I go ahead and cut out this really long strip of fabric and then pin it all the way down with some sewing pins and then use my sewing machine to just do a straight stitch all the way down it. Then this part is kind of tedious, but I'm using a pair of tweezers and like a chopstick to try to turn it inside out so I get like a nice, even, clean seam all the way down it. And then to add an extra little bit of professionalism, I'm adding two straight seams down the edges of it. I saw someone else do this when they like did their trip pamp tutorial. I'll link their videos below because it was pretty cool. Once I have that done, it's time to add the little buckles on the end. So I have these thrifted D-rings that I'm attaching to the bottom and just like folding over a little piece of the fabric to get them in. And then I'm making a bunch of different straps of different shapes, sizes, with different accessories hanging off of them. Not really with a plan of where they'll go exactly, just knowing that I'm gonna make a bunch and then figure out once I have them where they want to go. Then we lay out the pants again, figure out a good placement for things, and I can go ahead and start stitching all my new little straps on again. This is, again, as usual, like a very individual process. I'd really recommend trying on your pants as you go and making sure that you're liking the placement of it. To jazz up some of the straps a little bit, I thought it would be fun to add some grommets. So I have these ones that I originally got for a boot project, but I had a couple left over. I'm figuring out a good spacing situation for them, marking that down using a pair of nail scissors to cut out the hole. Once all the holes are in, I can kind of like place the grommets there, sandwich them together, and then use my little grommet tool to hammer that down, and we get this like nice beautiful grommet. So get three of those on each one, and we have these fun little like grommet straps. So yeah, here you can see me just going ahead and making more little strips of straps. I guess for all of them, I'm just like kind of cutting a little piece of fabric, pinning it in half, sewing it down the middle, turning it inside out and then adding the two seams down it. This is like super fun and satisfying with a sewing machine and it's like fun to do like some kind of skinnier ones, some kind of fatter ones, some longer ones, shorter ones. I had fun playing around with it. And you can also use different materials. I just wanted to use up some of this uh, plaid because I thought it suited it well. But yeah, you can go ahead and use all different kind of colors and fabrics, mix up like Halloween ones or thrifted ones, old t-shirts, whatever you want. And with all of them, I'm just attaching whatever tiny buckle or over or little keychain holder thing that I took off something else. And I have a bunch of these keychain rings that I found at the thrift store and I thought it would be cool to have like one strap with like three little keychain rings hanging down it. So we'll figure out where that goes later, but for now that's done. I also had this old flannel top that I got back in my university. It's ridiculously scratchy and super uncomfortable, so I've just been using it to make patches ever since. And I wanted to like use the pocket on it so I didn't have to like make a pocket myself. However, to make it a little bit more more fun, I decided to add some tiny little grommets. Um, so I'm poking those through by making a hole with the nail scissors and then just attaching them using my little grommet tool and hammer to hammer them down. And then as you can see, we have these like four little grommets in and I'm using these little like jump ring keychain thingies to add like almost a piercing look to all the grommets. I think this is a really fun look, um, just putting like jump rings and different things through your through your grommets, so that's what the pocket looks like. And as I make the things, I'm just going ahead and attaching the straps, putting them in different spots, and figuring it out as I go. It's a lot of fun uh, to see how the pants evolve 
as you like wear them and are like, yeah, that's a perfect spot for that. That's a perfect spot for that. Let's see what we can do here. And the more like little buckles and stuff I put on, the more options I have for where I can place the straps eventually. I might make even more than just one set of straps for it at some point or like find some more chains to add. But for now, it's like pretty cool. Just a whole process of stitching things along with the pocket that I decided to add on the side. I totally had to sew that in by hand because it was just like way too far down. And if you want to make the zipper portions of your pants real, that's totally cool. You can like open the zipper and then cut a line down it and then hem that and add like a pocket or something if you want. Since I already had the side pocket, the two back pockets, and the two front pockets I added, I figured that was enough for now. But you never know what the future holds. These pants might get a lot more pockets because I am a big fan of those. I did try using some old like bracelet chains and stuff to add like a little bit of a chain detail, but at the end of the day I didn't really like it. I just figured I'd show that it's an option to use like old broken jewelry and that kind of thing. And I have this belt that I got at the thrift store that I'm taking the pyramid studs off off of with just kind of like a little flat metallic tool. Use whatever you have on hand if you're trying to do this, just be safe. And then I'm popping them off once the like little prongs are flattened out. I would not recommend adding these kinds of spikes to your pants if they're a stretchy material like mine because honestly the fabric was like stretching out all around the holes and I had to like improvise some stuff so do this on jeans if you want do this on like thicker canvasy type pants but I would not recommend to do this on leggings regardless I am like poking a little hole through and just all around the edge of up the pocket I'm poking a little stud in and to make them like nice and close together I'm using the same hole for each pair of studs like the one right next to it that way you get them nice and tight and just using a pair of tweezers to like flatten them out. As you can see, it's just got this like kind of very precarious hanging on nature to it as the fabric is way too stretchy. So what I ended up troubleshooting a few days later with this was I put like a little blob of hot glue behind each one and then sewed a little piece of fabric to hold everything down just across where like the six or seven spikes ended up. But yeah, don't, don't do this <laughs> if you have like leggings or something that you're trying to make. Anyway, um, that is the end of the creative process. So let's look at how they actually turned out. Okay, so this is the result. Woohoo! I will get some better up close shots in a minute. Sorry, it's kind of cold in here. But I am ridiculously happy with how these turned out. So basically we've got the pockets that work in here and like go all the way down and are super stretchy and I absolutely adore them. We've got the little studs on the one pocket and this like three loop thing that I can attach these to, but I can also attach them like here or like here or like here, like literally wherever. I put a bunch of straps on these things just so I could have a lot of versatility in the choices of where I could put things. We've got this tiny little strap with like this thing that used to be on a lanyard, I think. These pants already had this kind of like little leather lining, like faux leather lining, which I think is kind of cool and suits it. This zipper doesn't open to anything, but I like it a lot, found at the thrift store. Another giant strap. I put one on each side so I could be kind of symmetrical if I wanted and do like a crisscross thing in the back. These two matching smaller zippers, and yeah, one day I may or may not add some actual pockets in the bottom of these, but for now they're just like cool little visual details to spice it all up. I also probably one day will add more stuff to the back because right now the back's pretty plain. It just has this ring where I can attach the straps to and then like obviously the straps themselves. But yeah, there's not too much going on in the back, which is kind of unusual for these kind of pants. I feel like generally more stuff is going on on the back than the front, but I'm like, the front is the part you see the most or that I care about you seeing the most, so whatever. <laughs> like I mentioned, this patch was from a mask and I got like a little dark maroon zipper above it. And then this one that goes all the way down my leg. I think this one's really fun. And I know some people like to do like detachable pants so you could always like sew zippers that go all the way down and that you can unzip. Those are a lot of fun and very versatile if you want to have like one pair of pants that you can use for the summer and the winter. This pocket on the side I love. It's just off that flannel shirt and I think it works out really well. And I think that like this is such a fun design element to have like the little grommets with the key rings like jingling out of them. And I really, really like how these little grommet portions turned out. I know they're not very functional, but I think they look cool, <laughs> which is why they're there. And I put them on both sides as well. We've also got the grommet tape down this leg, which I think is a lot of fun. And yeah, I can switch these around in a couple of different ways. So we can do them like one on each hook, 
over the shoulders in a weird slouchy way for no reason. We can clip them so they're like a little tighter. I put this as like kind of an extender strap. So we can do that. There's some way that I figured out to crisscross these. This feels like a tripping hazard, but like having the cool X thing is also like kind of fun and one of the main things that I wanted to be able to do with these pants. I usually like to wear these with like creepers or Doc Martens or something a little lower than my usual platforms because I like to show all the details of these, but I still think that they would look like a lot of fun with some platform boots. I'm super, super happy with the final result. For this outfit, I decided to just put my hair in a little ponytail with the little back clips and I feel like I'm growing out my bangs enough that I'm able to actually like shape them in a more v-shape which is a lot of fun now got my favorite choker this shirt is a pair of tights with a hole cut in them to make it a shirt this corset top is one that i diy'd out of like a corset that i found at the thrift store and just added a bunch of fun stuff to and then the pants of course are the star of the show so yes <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial this little final look um i'm super happy with how it turned out and just like super delighted that i get to like wear these i've already worn them out once just to like run errands and groceries and stuff i'm excited to like wear them to a show or something like that so yes very very excited happy to have made them and i'm looking forward to making more stuff and showing you all my other future creations so i hope to see you in the next one and thanks again for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day night whatever it happens to be um and i guess bye for now